Chapter 9, Lesson 2, Essential Question. How can you identify and plot points on a coordinate grid? For our lesson today, we need to know um, quite a few vocabulary terms. So, let's look at the connect. Locating a point on a coordinate grid is similar to describing directions using north-south and east-west. The horizontal line on the grid is the x-axis. So, if we have a grid here, that means that this bottom one is the x-axis, okay? And the vertical line on the grid is the y-axis, so the one going up and down is the y. Each point on the coordinate grid can be described by an ordered pair of numbers. The x-coordinate, the first number in the ordered pair, so right here they have parentheses, it's x, y, the first number is the x-coordinate. It is the horizontal location or the distance from the point uh, from zero to the in the direction of the x-axis. Then the y-coordinate, the second number in the ordered pair, is the vertical location or the distance the point is from zero in the direction of the y-axis. So um, if this right here is our coordinate point or our coordinate grid, um, you go x first left to right, and then y, up and down. Um, and you always start from zero. Eventually, you'll have some other parts, but this is zero, this point right here, where x and y cross is zero. That's called the origin. That's where it comes from. And I always like to use the terminology, because right now, the only coordinate grid that you're really using is where the y is on the left and x is up and down. So I like to use the term that you have to run to the rocket. So you have to run to the rocket before you can take off. Okay, so you have to use the x coordinate to run on the ground before you can go up in space. That's how I remember the x and y coordinates. All right, so now let's look at unlock the problem. It says to write the ordered pairs for the locations of the arena and the aquarium. So we need to locate the point for which we want to write an ordered pair. And then we need to look at the x-axis to identify the horizontal distance from zero. So that just means left or right, and that'll be our x-coordinate. So let's start with the arena, okay? So where's the arena? Oh, there's the arena. The arena's right here. There's that dot. And so now we need to look for the um, where, how far left or right is it. So I'm looking right here. Oh, if I go straight down, I can see that I've gone over three. So the X coordinate is three for the arena. And then the next step is to find the Y axis and how far is it up, and, up or down. So here's my dot. If I come over to the y-axis, I can see that I've gone up two. So that's my second number. So you can see that right here, the ordered pair for the arena is three comma two, because we went over three and then up two. And then there's the dot. So let's look for the aquarium. Here's the aquarium. The first thing we need to do is find the x-coordinate. So that means I need to know how far left or right the aquarium is. Well, let's see. There's my zero. That's the origin. And still looking oh, right there at nine. Okay, so we have nine as our x. And I'm just going to go ahead and write that down right here. We have nine. That's how far we had to run left or right. So now how far up do we have to go? So here's my aquarium. I'm going to just kind of follow it along till I get to the x-axis. Oh, look, I crossed out of 4. So that means I went from 0 up to 4, and that's what it's on. So my y-axis is going to be 4. And if I just kind of do those lines right here, I can see that where they cross, there's the aquarium. So my ordered pair is nine comma four. So let's look at below it. My arrows didn't move. Let's look at this below it. 
It says, describe the path you would take to get from the origin, that's zero, zero, to the aquarium using horizontal and vertical moments. So press pause, and if you had to give me directions using horizontal and vertical movements, write me just a quick sentence about how I would get to the aquarium. Making it short and sweet, my sentence is that I would move nine units right and four units up. Looking at example one. A point on a coordinate grid, that's this, this is a coordinate grid where it kind of looks like graph paper, can be labeled with an ordered pair, a letter, or both. A. Plot the point, that just means to put the point on the grid, um, 5, 7, and label it J. So from the origin, 0, 0, move right 5 units, because that's our 5, we always go horizontal first, we go left to right, and then we go up and down, okay? So move five units to the right, and then up seven units and plot that point. So they did that one for you, but we can look one, two, three, four, five, right there, and then we need to go up seven. So that's again where seven would cross right here. They put the dot, and they did the alphabet letter first, and then using the parentheses, they did five comma seven. So that is plotting that point. So now for B, they want you to plot the point eight, zero and label it S. So from the origin or zero, zero, that's the origin, move right how many units? Well, the X coordinate, that's our first number going left to right is eight. So we need to go eight units to the right. And then our second number tells us to go up or down. And it's a positive number, so we're moving up, but how many units are we moving up? Our second number, the x, I mean the y coordinate, is the zero. So we're actually not going to be going up at all. So let's look right here. So we're going right, eight, and then I'm not going up any. So I'm going to put my point right there. And then we need to label it s. So right next to it, we're just going to make an S. It didn't tell us to use both, so that S is all we need. Let's look at example two. So now we're going to find the distance between two points. So you can find the distance between two points um, when the points are along the same horizontal or vertical line. We First, you draw a line segment to compose connect points A and point B. Do that. Now that's not a perfect line, but it's pretty close. And then it says count vertical units between the two points. So how many spaces are there between here? There's one, two, three, four, five, six. There are six units between A and B. So the distance between them is six. Let's look at number one within example two. Points A and B form a vertical line segment and have the same X coordinates. That's the first number. How can you use subtraction to find the distance between these points? Okay, so right here we can see that nine and nine, the first one is the same. And then right, our Y coordinate has a nine and a three. How can we use that Y coordinate? to find the distance. My sentence says we can blank the blank coordinates to find the vertical distance. So when you're finding a difference or a distance between something, you are going to be subtracting. And then which coordinates are we using? Are we using the X coordinates or the Y coordinates? I use the word vertical in my sentence because that's the up and down. We're finding the difference between that. So that is the Y coordinate. All right, so now let's look at number two. Number two tells us to graph the points three, two, and five, two. So press pause, graph those points. There, I have graphed my two points. I also, I showed you color coordinates so that you knew which one was which. So right here I have three, two, and right here I have five, two. Explain how you can use subtraction to find the horizontal distance between these two points. So now they're wanting to know 
the distance this way, left and right. So based on what we talked about in number one, finding the vertical distance, how can you use subtraction to find the left and right distance, the horizontal distance? So my sentence, we can blank the blank coordinates to find the horizontal distance. And then um, I, you should find the answer. So you should have added subtract the x coordinates, because that's the left to right, and then um, 5 minus 3 equals 2. And you can even check that just by counting. There's 1, 2 spaces between the two of them. Today's share and show, um, for 1 through 4, you're using coordinate grid A, so that's this one right here, to write an ordered pair for the given point. So you're going to be writing parentheses, x-coordinate, comma, y-coordinate, comma, for these four. And then for the second part, you are actually going to plot the dots and then label the points with the letters. So you're going to be creating other points that look like these based on the ordered pairs that they give you. So press pause while you um, write your ordered pairs and plot your points. All right, so far C is six to the right and then three up, so it's six comma three. D is three to the right and then zero because you don't go up at all. E is nine over and then nine up, so it's nine comma nine. And four, or F, so F. Here's my F, how far over is it? It is on a 10. And how far up is it? So I could one, two, three, four, five, or I could kind of follow the line and see that it crosses the y axis at five. And so my ordered pair is 10, five. So number five for m, it's zero over and nine up. So there's zero and nine up. There I put my dot with m. Number six, which is eight, you go. Uh, or H, you go 8 to the right, and then you go up 6. Make sure that it crosses right there, and I'll be putting my dot at 8, 6, and then the letter is H. Um, number 7, K, I go over 10, and then up 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. There's my dot. And I label it K. Number 8, T. I need to go over 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. There's 4. And up 5. There's 5. That's where they cross. So let me 4 and 5. Labeled T. Um, number 9, W. I go over 5 to the right and up 10, and I put my dot, so that's almost to the right in the middle at the top, and that was W. Make sure that you're putting it right where they cross, um, and then number 10, R. I go, um, the first number is our X coordinate, okay, so that's our X coordinate, and our second one is our Y coordinate. Okay, so we go over 1, there's 1, and then we go up 3, and that's where they cross, and so that is R. Let's look at this math talk real quick. It says, describe how to find the distance between point R and point C. So point R and point C, they're on the same Y line, they're both at 3, 3 is their second number, so... You can either count them, or which coordinate would you subtract? You would subtract your x, so we would have 6 and 1, so their distance is 6 minus 1, which is 5. Alright, you may now work on your other tasks as assigned.